Welcome back to Eurocoded. Today we are going to look at this trust and find reactions first and then we are going to find internal forces using method of joints. We have a fixed support at A and we have a horizontal roller support at D. If you would like to know what are the different types of supports then uh, we have covered that topic in a different video. I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. We have a vertical reaction here. Let's call it a Y. And we have a horizontal reaction, a X. And then we have another vertical reaction here, D, Y. But we don't have any horizontal reaction at D because we have a horizontal roller support here. Let's look at horizontal equilibrium first. We can write AX plus this 10 kilonewton is equal to zero because we don't have any other horizontal forces acting on this Trust. This means AX is equal to minus 10 kilonewton or AX. This minus value means it's acting in the opposite direction. We can write AX is equal to 10 kilonewton acting in this direction. Next thing I'm going to do is look at moment equilibrium. I'm going to take moments about point A. So looking at moment equilibrium, we can write MA total is equal to zero. Taking moments about point A, lever arm for AX, AY, and this 10 kilonewton is zero. So these three forces would have no moment about point A. Then we can look at this 10 kilonewton Clockwise moment, lever arm is 5 meters, 10 times 5. Then let's look at this 10 kilonewton, lever arm is 5 meters and it's acting in clockwise direction again. So this plus 10 times 5. And then we have this dy reaction here, lever arm is 5 meters and it's acting in anti clockwise direction. So we can write this is equal to dy times 5. Hence we can write dy is equal to 20 kilonewton. Then we can look at vertical equilibrium. Fy should be equal to 0. We have two vertical reactions, AY and DY. AY plus DY. And we have two vertical forces acting downwards in vertical direction. This is equal to 10 plus 10. From previous calculation by looking at moment equilibrium, we already know that DY is equal to 20 kilonewton. So AY plus 20 is equal to 20 making a y zero now we are going to look at internal forces of this truss i've already marked external forces and reactions on this truss you can see that i have marked a x in uh, the correct direction to begin with let's pick this joint d if we isolate this joint we can draw If you look at horizontal equilibrium of this joint, we can write AD is equal to zero. If you look at vertical equilibrium now, we can write if I is equal to zero, CD 
plus 20 is equal to 0, meaning CD is minus 20 kilonewton. Or else CD is acting in the opposite direction, meaning it is in fact a compressive force. So this force is zero, this force is minus 20 or a compressive force acting in the opposite direction. This AD again is zero. Now let's look at this joint B here. If we look at horizontal equilibrium, we can write BC is equal to zero. And if we look at vertical equilibrium of joint B, we can write 10 plus AB is equal to zero and AB is equal to minus 10 kilonewton. Or we can say this is a 10 kilonewton compressive force. So we can write here minus 10, minus 10 and zero, zero. Now let's look at this joint and the equilibrium of this joint C. This is again same as this minus 20. If we look at horizontal equilibrium of joint C, we can write BC force is zero and then we have AC force acting at an angle. Outer members of this truss is forming a square five meter by five meter so this angle here is 45 degrees this angle is 45 degrees so we can write ac times cos 45 is equal to 10 then we can write ac is equal 10 times square root of 2 which is equal to 14.14 14. so now we can write 14.14 here 14.14 again if this is not clear this is 14.14 that is how you would find external reactions and internal forces in a truss like this if you have any questions about this video, please post your questions in the comment section. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.